My name is Heinke Jäger. I'm a restoration ecologist working on invasive terrestrial plant and animal species. We are looking at the distribution of these species, the impacts they have on the ecosystem, but also the effects that the measures to control these species have. But of course, I'm not alone in this. I have a wonderful team. So the big overall questions we are trying to answer is, what are the effects of these invasive species on the resident flora and fauna? And what is needed to mitigate these impacts? We're working together with the Galapagos National Park Directorate to find methods to control these species and also to restore the invaded ecosystems. For example, the unique Scalesia forest here is a habitat for rare plant and animal species like the Darwin's finches. But this forest has been reduced dramatically in the past due to agricultural activities. And what is left now is only 1% of the original distribution. So what is left over the remnant forest is now invaded by invasive plant species, especially by blackberry. So we want to know what are the impacts of blackberry and the impacts of the blackberry control on the vegetation. And therefore we established permanent plots in 2014 and the Galapagos National Park wardens, they controlled, they cut blackberry in half of the plots and left the other half uncontrolled. Every year we're carrying out the vegetation monitoring and we pay a special attention to the Scalicia population dynamics. We did not find a single Scalicia seed in the plots that were invaded. So that means if the Galapagos National Park guards don't control blackberry, the Scalicia forest we see here will disappear within our generation. But don't despair yet. Our results also show that if you control blackberry, the Scalicia will regenerate marvelously on its own. Since climate change is expected to affect Scalesia, we've been measuring microclimate parameters here at Los Gemelos since 2014 to be able to relate the changes we find with this data. Changes, both negative and positive, are most likely only to be seen after several years. So this is why we need long-term monitoring. I'm Jacqueline Rodriguez, an entomologist. I coordinate the entomology projects and work on the monitoring of the invertebrates in the agricultural zone in the Scalisa forest. After the vegetation monitoring, we set up two different trap types to collect the invertebrates and also do a manual collection in the plots. We want to know what the impacts of the blackberry and the blackberry control are on the invertebrates since they are an important food source for Darwin's finches. The finches currently are in a dramatic decline, mainly because of the Philornis fly, but the blackberry control measures might also affect indirectly the birds. So far we found out that these measures had negative effects on some groups like beetles and spiders, but only time will show whether these trends are temporary or not. And that's why we need long-term monitoring. I am Carolina Carrion, our team's geospatial analyst. I fly the drone and use its footage with high-resolution satellite images to produce vegetation maps which help us guide management actions. Since things in a vegetation thicket can get very messy, we're also taking an aerial approach. We are flying the drone over areas of special interest like the Scalesia forest or areas that are difficult to access like the highlands of Santiago. Then I use this footage together with high resolution satellite images to produce fine scale maps that help us not only find the distribution of plant species but also their abundance. For example, the highlands of Santiago are threatened by the invasive blackberry species and we have been able to record new infestations and detect the increase in its distribution over time. This mapping also allows us to document the success of the management actions taken by the Galapagos National Park Directorate. But again, changes occur only over the course of several years. Therefore, we need long-term monitoring. Hello, my name is Ana Torres and also an entomologist. I work on identifying flies, especially those that are difficult to identify without the help of an external specialist. Sometimes people think that only bees do the pollination of flowers, but flies and mosquitoes also have an important role in this. Now I am identifying flies that have been collected during the entomological monitoring and soon I will be able to add a few more species to our invertebrate collection. Hi, my name is Julia Bolaños. I'm also an entomologist. I work on the inventory of insects in the agricultural zone, which is my specialty. 
The agricultural production in Galapagos has become more important for food supply, especially in times of COVID-19. To ensure a sustainable agriculture, it's important to know which sects are affecting the crops. But to do that, we first have to know what's there. Therefore, we are surveying 40 select farms on Santa Cruz Island to establish a baseline. Hello, my name is Anne Gezu. As a botanist on the team, I'm carrying out the inventory of the plants in the agricultural zone. We want to know what their biodiversity is, and also what the most invasive plant species are and those that are most damaging to the crops. At the same time, I'm also recording remnants of Scalicia forest and asking the farm owners whether they would be willing to restore Scalicia on their properties if they had support for that. Having Scalicias on the farms would increase their biodiversity through associated species and it would also serve as a shade tree for the delicious Galapagos coffee. Our long-term studies will provide science-based information on the impacts that these species have and the restoration effects carried out in Galapagos. I would like to say thank you to the Galapagos National Park, the Ministry of Agriculture, the Biosecurity Agency for their ongoing support. And a special thank you to our donors who have been supporting our projects over the last years.